what's going on everyone welcome back to a new video my name is of course Paul now in this video I'm gonna do a bit of a requested video and we're gonna check out what's on my 16 inch MacBook Pro and what I use for productivity and stuff like that so we're gonna check that out in a second I did do an iPad video which you can find linked above here for you guys to check out and there's also a couple of other videos at the very end don't forget to like and subscribe and let's just go and let's just get into it <music> Right, okay, so let's go into what I've got on the MacBook Pro itself. So down the side here, I've got a bit of stuff I've been working on, like the 8K video. Currently working on an intro for these videos right here, and one for Orlando Taurus, as I am bringing that YouTube channel back. Folders like these do need to get stored away on the Samsung SSD T3 that I've got. Orlando wallpapers is something new that I've been working on. I will show you the few right now if we go into it. So I've been working on this for a new website coming out where I'm going to be able to give you all, if you're into Orlando and stuff, there's going to be wallpapers for Orlando for like your MacBooks, your Windows laptops, your iPhones, whatever other Android phones you've got you're gonna be able to download these and get these on your phone so there's them they're gonna be coming very very soon I'm starting a website up for these as I was gonna host them on a Dropbox account but then I was like I want more people to see them and I want to be able to add to them as time goes on these will be coming to our website very soon but I'll let you know about that in the future new pictures is pictures that I actually took yesterday for thumbnails and new Instagram posts so if we go into that one what I've got is I've actually got another folder that says edit so you got all the pictures there and then if you click on it there's all the edits so you would have seen if you follow me on Instagram if you don't it's linked right there there. but this is one that got posted yesterday the speak and rugged armor case for the airpods pro and then these are just some thumbnails i'm working on right now so this needs a little tiny bit more work but this is going to be a thumbnail for the samsung galaxy buds plus never mind that's all that side there so that some of that stuff needs to go onto a hard drive and the rest of it can be stored on the laptop so as i said to you it is 512 gigabyte version uh, I went for the base 16 with a 2.6 GHz 6 core i7, 16 gigs of memory, and of course the storage is it says 500 there, but it's 512. Go into the bottom here now. This is of course my dock. Now this will be going soon as I'm currently working on something else right now. We have a click the touch bar at the bottom. All my apps are now listed, so I can get rid of the dock and have a row of apps right here, and I can go full screen on the MacBook for more efficiency and stuff like that so okay so if you're interested in removing your dock from there and putting another touch bar it's actually called touch switcher now what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to find some of these links down below for you guys to check out so let's go through the dock we've got finder launch pad which launches into your apps of course safari my photos album which syncs across from my ipad to my iphone and this we've got apple music apple podcast and apple tv I have got Apple TV because I bought the new iPhone and of course the MacBook so I got a year free. Got the App Store, my calendar, obviously I need that because that syncs across all devices. I still use Apple Notes for everything, I don't use any other Note service on the Apple ecosystem. It's just Notes because it syncs across all of them which is perfect. Especially when I'm creating videos and stuff and I need to get notes and whatnot. That's what I use for that. We've got Apple Maps in case I need to go in there, find something to add it to a text or a WhatsApp or anything like that. I can go in, find where I need to be and paste the link. We've got messages. People do send me iMessages. I've got this linked to me iMessages. So if I'm ever working away on like a video and stuff like that and someone needs to get hold of me, they can still text and get through to me. Then we've got FaceTime. FaceTime is absolutely fantastic for when I'm on like conference calls and stuff. We do use FaceTime quite a lot. Then we've got the PS4 remote play. So when the TV is getting used by my wife to watch Shadow Hunters or whatever it is she watches, I can still play PS4 on this. And I'm also going to partition this soon to the Windows side again, so I can actually play some Xbox on this as well. If you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see how I play PS4 and the Xbox on a MacBook, let me know. Then we've got the game capture for Elgato. I've got the Elgato HD60S, and it's wrapped in carbon fibre by Slick Wraps. I haven't used it for quite a while because I haven't done any game capture, but I may want to do that very soon. But I am actually, of course, still working. I'm not in quarantine or lockdown, whatever you want to call it. I'm still out there, still working away, so time isn't really on my side at the minute. I can make some time, I'm sure of it. So then we move along, we've got Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I haven't actually used Premiere Pro just yet, but I did get it and I was like, mm, okay. But then I got into Final Cut, but the app is still there for me to use if I want to. I've been doing a bit of Adobe Rush stuff on the iPad, as you know, so maybe I'll have a little go at Premiere Pro and see what it's like compared to Final Cut. Then I've got Lightroom. 
I'm in there all the time editing photos and whatnot. There's what edited the Orlando wallpapers. Then we've got Adobe Photoshop 2020. I haven't actually used that just yet neither. I was using Photoshop on the previous MacBook and I've only just updated it to this MacBook yesterday. I do need to do some Photoshop stuff on them wallpapers. Then we've got Final Cut Pro. I've been using Final Cut now for the last six months now I'd say. So that's why the videos seem to have gotten a lot better. The editing is taking a little tiny bit more time because I'm not used to the software just yet but I'm getting used to the shortcuts and all the features that it has so I'm going to be looking for some transitions and some new stuff that I can add to Final Cut to make these videos better for you guys. Then we've got Audacity that's what I've been using to record audio for podcasts and stuff like that. That is coming soon. The podcast I've got about three or four saved up right now on the MacBook and hopefully fingers crossed we should be ready to go in a couple of weeks then we've got folks vlc for when i'm watching media content and stuff like that so if we go into the launch pad now as you can see there's a lot more stuff inside here than on the dock like reminders i don't use to find my macbook and iphone and all that is right there photo booth preview and then all the other stuff that goes with it but i'll just talk about the stuff that i mainly go into and use on a regular basis so you got honey honey is a chrome extension browser that goes on and if you're shopping it will find you the best deal on whether that website you're on has got the best deal or whether it's available elsewhere cheaper. WD Discovery is my hard drives, Western Digital hard drives. They all link into there, same as the NTFS. Then we've got NordVPN. Now, I haven't actually used NordVPN yet, as obviously I've not long picked up the 16 inch MacBook Pro and we were meant to be going away, but I don't use this on any other Wi Fi network apart from my home and maybe my phone when I'm out and about. But I do need to sort Nord out and get that registered. Then we got my Twitter account. If you do not follow me, again, link down below. Speed test for when we go to hotels and stuff like that. We need to check out the internet or if anything happens in the house. Android file transfer is for my Android phones when I need to transfer footage over, like the AK footage from the S20 Ultra. Now, Boom 3D. Boom 3D is fantastic. Anyone with a MacBook, you need to get boom 3d trust me on that so what it does is it goes to the top corner up here you open it out and what it gives you is like a 3d equalizer sound now the speakers on this one are already pretty damn good as it is but add this in and put your headphones on and the experience is so much better it's absolutely fantastic if you don't have boom i recommend you get it send anywhere is for me android phone and i need to transfer files straight to it but I do prefer Android file transfer for some reason. I do prefer plugging the phone in. Send anywhere it does seem to take a little bit of time. DJ Pro 2, I did have a little dabble at doing some mixes and stuff like that. I wasn't very good. Who knows? Maybe I'll get better. We never know. Affinity Photo Beta, I haven't used it yet, but it's there. Helium, Helium is an app that lets you, uh, say you're working on Lightroom, but you're watching a YouTube video as well, and you don't need this part of your corner of your laptop. But what you can do with Helium is you can add a YouTube video into the corner while you're working on a photo and still be able to watch that or do all have like a little bit of background noise but still have the picture on the screen. Helium is pretty damn good. I'll have that linked down below for you guys. Amphetamine is so that your MacBook never goes to sleep. Like I know when I've been away on holiday and I've been uploading a, vi a video on the hotel's Wi-Fi network, it's not been that great. When I use Amphetamine, it didn't let the MacBook go to sleep. So when the MacBook goes to sleep, your video stops uploading because obviously it's connect disconnected from the internet and stuff like that. So Amphetamine keeps it awake and then you can just take it off so you're not killing your battery off. Touch Switcher, like I've said, is fantastic for putting your apps in the dock. I just need to get rid of this now and I'll have a full screen MacBook. Me, Premiere Pro stuff, and then at the very end, Clean My Mac X. I have registered for Clean My Mac and I have been using it just to get rid of all those annoying files that you have lingering in the background. So guys, be sure to let me know if there's anything you think I should be checking out, any apps you think I should check out, any websites and stuff like that that I should check out for what I'm actually doing with my business and stuff like that. Be sure to let me know in the comments section down below this video. The 16 inch 2019, 2020, macbook pro with touch bar it's been absolutely fantastic up to now battery life is spot on and i'm able to breeze through i mean i got through that 8k footage from the samsung video found up there for you guys to check out it's edited like a champ this is only the base model as well but with the extra storage which is why i went for it but thanks so much for watching guys i truly truly appreciate it if you like this drop a like if you love to drop a sub and i will catch you in my next video stay safe everyone and i will see you all soon